Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show, Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue and possibly finish Hom 7 or Might Magic Hero 7, ladies and gentlemen. We're on episode 183, and we're getting ever closer to that ultimate victory. We're going to end our turn right now. We did not actually have the movement that it stated we had because it is a liar. And you can hear in the background my dog is growling and, and roughing stuff up and barking and doing various things like that because she is excited. We had gone to dinner... And we left her alone for a couple of hours, and now she's very fired up. She has to do this energy burn-off thing. I wish she wouldn't do it while I was in the middle of recording, but she is definitely doing it now, guys. So you can enjoy that. I'll try not to laugh too much. It's actually kind of humorous. It's it's pretty funny. Anyhow, uh, yeah, we went to a pretty good place. It was my wife's child's birthday. That's right, it's not my child. It's my wife's child. But that doesn't mean I, I don't participate and enjoy the old family unit. It's all well and good. Anyhow, so we went out and we ate, and it was glorious and delicious and sweet, sweet, nice, and then, unfortunately, I don't know, I, I, I still, I don't like going out to eat with people. Not because I don't like eating with people or anything like that. It's just the fact that, you know, you go out if you either ate at home or whatever the case is, it would take you maybe a half hour to eat, maybe an hour if you're really slow or it's a big meal or something. Going out to eat, it always takes so incredibly long, and I hate it, guys. I hate taking two and a half, three hours to go out and eat a, a meal. To me, it's ridiculous. So we left, we got there at like 6, and we got home at around 8. So it was a two-hour thing. It was just not great. It was not great at all. But that's neither here nor there. We are going to continue uh, walking around uh, doing stuff. I'm feeling pretty good today, guys. I have recovered from the poisonous food that we ate the other day, which is fantastic. I really, really do not enjoy being like that. That was awful. So, things are going pretty good. I hope you guys are all having a great, fantastic, and wonderful time. We are going to, I guess, tag this up. Anastasia received Blind Maiden. And we're going to go and we're going to fight some Furies. We should be able to kill these. I hope you guys are all looking forward to the new campaign coming out for Ham 7. And I hope you guys are all looking forward to, well, you guys know, you know, uh -huh, XCOM 2. That's right, folks. XCOM 2 is a thing, it exists, and we are all waiting for it eagerly, or at least a lot of us are. I gotta say, I'm, I'm still not quite feeling the hype train because I'm knee-deep in XCOM Long War, and it is a beast to get through, guys. I still have several more hours of gameplay before I get to the point where I can actually do the endgame mission. It's all grindy, silly stuff, and I've lost a lot on it, but it's okay. No one's died, oddly enough. You would think that that would be a thing that would happen a lot, but no, no, everyone's actually survived it. It's kind of creepy. All right, we're going to wait for the Furies to come closer before we go and we slaughter their souls. Or kill them in some way, shape, or form. So while I'm looking forward to the old calm of X2, I'm also looking forward to not that. And no, I'm, uh, I am looking forward to it a lot, guys. But I'm also looking forward to the return of... What did I click? That is not it at all. Oh, I somehow skipped somebody's turn. I don't know what happened there. All right, here we go. Hey, everything's working right again. Yay for the things working as they're supposed to. Anyway, I am looking forward to the return of Hom 7's uh, new campaign when it does finally come out. That is something I am looking forward to immensely, and I'm looking forward to several other things as well. And XCOM is amongst those things. So, lots of good stuff coming, guys. Lots of stuff that have been here and that I'm going to be able to work on the rest of this week until XCOM comes out. It will be XCOM 2 weekend, guys, so look for pretty much, possibly, only coverage of that this weekend. I think that's what I'm going to run. So when it releases, I think it's on Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all going to be XCOM. And then we'll get back into some more normally scheduled uh, stuff. I'm going to try to get a bunch of first looks done before that time, try to get through my ever-growing list. It's constant stuff coming my way, guys and gals. Also, I think I'm not going to be doing the stream on Thursday, and I might not even be doing the stream on Tuesday. If I do, it'll be a short one. Probably play Brawlhalla just briefly with a few folks and then call it a call it a stream. Because, well, today is actually Tuesday. It's the day that I'm recording this, and, um, well, it's been busy. It's been real busy. Mm -hmm. So, there is that. All right, Anastasia has moved, and now we're going to move Andras to go see what's going on. Uh, yeah, we could probably fight the garrison. I don't see why not. Ooh. 
Seamus committed every act of infamy he could to discourage our final taking of his castle. This was his choice of endings. If he could not have the Empire for himself, then let it burn. But he could not understand that his desperate treacheries were only strengthening my allies' resolve. In his final actions, he has proven that he was not fit to be an Emperor. Well, that's some stone-cold killer stuff right there. He's like, hey, if you guys aren't going to be part of my army, you can die. And I do not appreciate that. I am pretty sure that we're doing everybody a favor by killing this guy off. Alright, so we're going to murder the the garrison castle gate thingy here. And then we're probably just going to chill until we get everything we want out of the map. I think that is going to be the play in which we make. Or something like that. I don't know. It's fine. All right, what are we to do? What are we to do? Our giant Cyclops of Doom just threw a hole in a wall up top. All right, I don't hate that. We'll come on down here. And right up against the wall there. We will do the same thing over here. Y'all! All right, <laughs> we're going to come down here and go to open fire. We're going to have some fun today, guys. We're going to probably finish off uh, HOM 7. i got to say, I'm looking forward to the conclusion, but I'm also going to be exceptionally sad because it's going to be over. We got high luck and wrecked. Very nice. Give me that high morale. Aw, oh, we didn't get high morale. That is super weak. All right, big smack. Nice. That actually was a pretty big hit there. Oh, we get to go again. 81 plus. Bam. Double wrecked. i got to say, I'm a pretty massive fan of how that worked out. We'll come up over here. We'll waddle a little bit closer here. I thought as much. Eh? Alright, let's see if the knights come forward. They did indeed. I'm gonna smack him, I think, with our, our giant dudes. Incapacitated. Also completely onified. That's right, I said onified. It's a bonafide, onified victory for us. Alright, we're gonna chill there. They're gonna walk over and be like, Oh, we're up against the wall. What are you gonna do about this? And those guys are like, Oh no, we've almost died. It is terrifying. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna... We're, we'll advance. We'll advance our army. That's totally fine. We're gonna waddle on up here with... Well, flap on up over here with the wyverns of doom. And then we're gonna be like, Hey, there's 500 of you. Soon to be at least 300 less. Or 500 less. Well, 300 is still less than 500, so it still works. It still works. And that's the victory. And again, no losses. Of course, we were glorious and wonderful in all things. And I don't really feel like marching on the final battle. Also, he's got a lot of nasty troops. That could be problematic. How does Ivan stack up against our wonderful compatriot over here? He actually seems to have a better chance at victory against him. I don't know if that's true. But they seem to think that it's true, and I, you know, just like G.I. Joe says, thinking's half the battle. That's not the same at all. I know, guys. I know it's not the same, but I felt like doing it anyway. Accept it. Move on. It's fine. Um, Horncrest. What do we have here? We have the God Tower. And we can upgrade the, uh, the Angels. The Angels. The Angels. Alright, we are going to get you and you. We're going to upgrade both of you. Then we're going to go right down the Lizine. On the Pizine. And that's fine. Alright, let's end the turn and get to Bar Albania. Alright, you're going to come toward... Oh, you're actually walking right into my gloriously devised and cleverly crafted Trap of Doom. And you're going to survive briefly. You're going to survive briefly. I think we're going to go and kill you off. Because it just feels right. So, let's prepare... Yeah, you want to join me? Hmm. Nah, no, it's not worth it. And we're at max level, so I'm just gonna let you go. There's literally no point in fighting you. Like, literally zero. Literally zero. Zero point to fighting you. Alright, Anastasia, you are still continuing to murder stuff over here. We'll start the combat up and get this handled. Right away, we're probably going to end up having to utilize with ranged characters. More than likely, we're going to have to utilize our uh, Elementals of Doom because that's what they're there for. They're there for utilization and murder. So, there you have it. Also, you two should swap because there's a stump in the way. Not that it matters because we do tend to use teleportation. 
It is a thing uh, which we do. Ooh, we just got... We just crit summoned. That's crazy. I didn't think that was a thing. We did it again! We just crit summoned twice! That's amazing! I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so stoked about that. It's just, to me, it's, I don't know. It's pretty darn cool. It's cool. And we just crit the living poo out of you, and we're gonna do it to you as well. No, no crit this time. That's okay. That is okay. We shall send our grim reapers forward. And we shall be victorious. Wow, they did like zero damage. All told, zero damage. Alright, so they're gonna attempt to do something to us, but it's not really gonna account for much, unfortunately. Here comes their death. We're gonna turn and pimp slap and dead! And then the Namtaru is going to hit the 17. Like I said, the 44 is gonna get hit. <clears throat> Dark Touch once again up on uh, the Lamasu. And uh, you're never gonna make it anywhere, it's fine. Um, yeah, we'll kill the 38 and then we'll kill the 17. Not a big deal. In fact, we may even be able to, we can kill 13 of them. They should be way, way stronger than they are, I would think. The Medusas are pretty far up the chain, but apparently they're exceptionally squishy and we can just murder them straight up, so I'll take it. I will take it. Ugh. The slow climb to 5,000 and 10,000. It has slown much. Slown, that's a word, right? Slown? Slown down? Slowed it down? I don't It's It's fine. Alright, we shall go and uh, deal with the filthy sea pirates. It's fine. And Andras is like, well, what do I do now? I've kind of destroyed everything. I guess I'll come over here and get myself stronger because that's what I do. I become more powerful. And wiser all the time. Meanwhile, the love of our life shall continue on. What was her name? Tannis? Yeah, it was Tannis. Alright, uh, the horn crest. Uh, there we go. We shall build you up. And up your build or something. I've got nothing. Alright, you are trying to outmaneuver us. It's not really working, sadly. Alright, can Ivan actually catch you? Ivan can indeed catch you, and he is going to, and then he will deal with other things. In fact, at this point, guys and gals, we should probably just head out and call it a call it a day. Eh, decent equipment and or a decent amount of troops and whatnot. I think we're still gonna annihilate them pathetically, but we'll see. We'll see if that's indeed what happens or if something else entirely comes of all of this. Alright, we're gonna move you up here temporarily, get you there, get you over here. Move you out of the way, move you over here. Move you here, move you... I guess there. Get you there, and... We're missing someone, right? No? Yes? Maybe? Nope. Okay, that's it. Okay. We'll let it fly. Alright, what am I going to want to do? I am going to want to send you up into the sky to land on all of these. Alright, next up, we're going to want to advance ourselves just a bit. I can nearly kill you guys. If I get a high luck roll here, you're dead. Not quite. Oh, oops. Yeah, I am making all sorts of mistakes, guys. We're at the, like, end game, and now I'm just sitting here like, We're so strong, nothing could ever stop us. <laughs> Which is not the case. We can still very easily lose this. Okay, easily use, lose this. Probably overstating just a bit, but... Did he just double time stasis there, guys? What was that? Other than super cheesy. Well, I am sorry to say, but you guys are going to have to pay for that. Give me that high luck. Give me that high morale. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Annihilated. Alright, I wonder what they're going to do to us. Oh, that's not cool. 
All right, well, I guess we can just slaughter you straight up. We'll probably still recover from this, but there's no telling if we will or not. Okay, so now the Abbots get to go... Perfect. I'm actually really glad they're attacking the way they are. Oh, no, you hit the angels. I was over far enough. How did you hit the angels? I had these four squares. Like, oh, that's not possible. It's actually not possible for you to hit the angels and them. Like, seriously, it's not possible. What happened? They land in a four square, right? One, two, three, four. You can't... One, two, right? Or one, two. You can't hit the angels and this guy. It's impossible. It's literally an impossibility. That's weird. That is really weird. I am sorry to say, but that is some uh, bull nanigans right there. Alright, well, well, we'll save the angel, I guess, but man, I, I... There are no words to describe the level of bull crappery that just went down right there. That is some bull crap. Alright, well, the angels are going to probably end up resurrecting the vast... Can we not resurrect ourselves? Is that a thing? Huh. Apparently that is a thing. Okay. Alright, time stasis is over, and your life is forfeit. Well, I gotta say, I'm, I'm very confused by that whole scenario. I did make a couple mistakes there, but... The angels should not have died. Like, there, there was no possible way they could have gotten hit there. So... Someday, maybe somebody can explain it to me. I don't really care one way or the other. Minor inconvenience. Pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty annoying, but... It doesn't matter, really, I mean, if we're being honest. We're getting plenty of troops. That's not a big deal. Alright, well, there's still something somewhere lurking that we'll eventually have to deal with. But not quite yet. First, we can slaughter this. And unfortunately, we must do the full combat thing. You know how it is, guys and gals. I'm not even going to bother trading people out. We'll just wait until all the crusty sea piratesses move. If they do move, if they don't, then they don't. There she goes. Wow, two morale dumps. That's pretty. That's pretty special, I gotta say. All right, so let's teleport our Sklatons on over, and let's dupe them. That's right. We are going to d d d d d duplicate the skeletons. And we are going to slaughter the crusty sea piratesses. Piratesses? Piratesses. I, I don't know. Alright, dead, dead, and dead. And now the Namturu, and then, yeah, yeah. We know, ladies and gentlemen, we know. It is going to take quite some time for all of this stuff to happen. But, fear not, for we shall be victorious in the end. And possibly the beginning. Alright, don't care for you, Saya. Alright, well, you can't quite make it to where you need to be just yet. I suppose we could teleport you around. Eh, let's teleport you. That just feels right. Yeah! Alright, there it is. And the attack! Woohoo! Alright, and death. Okay, simple and easy. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Max level. Have a closer. Alright, what are we looking at? We're looking at some spirit gained over here. And something that we also do not need over here. But we shall claim anyway. Why? Because we can, and because it's there, and because we should, right? All those things are definitely, probably, possibly, maybe true. There's no way to be absolutely certain. Alright, we will spam wait. And by spam wait, I mean we'll wait once, and then we will send people in to kill everything. Because that is the code of the Roller Girl. Or something. Alright, let's begin, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we're gonna actually plop down and take care of these dudes down here. That's right, they are dudes. They will be taken care of. Victory shall be ours. Alright, 154 of you are no longer alive. 
to our 17,000 points of damage. What do we do with you? 82,000 points of damage. That is super weak. Maybe the other one was 117,000. I don't know. It is inconsequential, I must admit. And now the... Oh, so sad. Why are you so slow? You did one whole damage, now you're gonna Lama Sue Dark Touch? Nope, you Dark Touched the Liches. Wow, they're actually covered. That is kind of weak. I am not going to fib or lie. It is pretty weak. Alright, well, we could move forward, or we could just do this. We're gonna teleport our little babies here. With our time jump and all the other weird random attacks that we do, we're gonna move on over here, and then... Shadow image... Victory. Alright, so I'm going easy. What? Oh, were they constructs? Is that why I didn't actually get any, uh, troops? I think that's what happened. There is no might skill with a novice or expert rank. Okay. If you say so. If you say so. Alright, well, we gotta head up uh, that way. Good old Tannis is gonna continue her journey that way, and Andras is gonna come over here and uh, do this. 5,000, we've learnt outnumbering. What? I know. Pretty exciting stuff. They will fight us? There's nothing to... Oh, there is something to fight. Well... It leads to nowhere. Why would... Is, oh, no, there, it does actually lead somewhere. Okay, well, let's go and kill this then, I guess. I'm like, there's just a mountain there. There's no reason to kill this. Or is there? There is a reason, actually, guys. And I don't know what that reason is, but it's okay. Alright, so we have, like, albino cyclopses. Cyclopses. That's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we're gonna flop on down here and blah, bloop. Then we're gonna be all out uh, bloop again. And then it's gonna be time to shoot, so we're gonna open fire on our nemesis. And again, we're gonna hope for the best. And we got it. And can we get high luck or high morale? Yes, we can. And can we get the, the absolute 100% victory there? Not quite, but close. We can easily finish it off with our knolls of power. And then we can throw a little baby attack here. Not that big of a deal. We'll waddle back and forth a little bit here. It's totally okay. And you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to charge forward. We're going to do exactly what we did last time. Smack him with the big man. No incapacitation this time. But we get to go again and slaughter him either way. So it is all fine. He is dead. And you are all that remains, sir. You are all that remains. Hey, we took down the gate. That's kind of cool. Alright. We're going to move you again, and we're going to engage! Alright, 426. 370. 23, and dead. Well, folks, I gotta say, it's, it's kind of all over but the crying at this point, right? So, let's see if we can't make it to the very, very end. I think it's going to be the next episode, guys. We'll probably end up finishing this off. I don't know for certain. I'm just assuming. I also think this is probably some weird special thing that's going to end up getting us killed or we're going to lose something or who knows what. That's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll probably go through two or three more turns before we are finito or finished or done in some way. This is an interesting snowy area. I do like the music for the snowy area. Pretty, it's pretty nice. I'm going to come over here. They want to join us. We're going to let them go. Um, do we have this already? We do not. Let's go tag this up. No skill improvements. I'm going to come over here and we're going to do that. That's just a trading outpost. We kind of don't need that. But eh, we could probably sell some stuff for some extra cash. I suppose it's not the worst thing in the world that could happen to us. Tannis, you get to go underground. Yay for underground Tannis. The battles are still kind of meh. We don't really want to, to do the battles. So we'll just head our way straight on by to the other place and get some more gold dragons going our way. End our turn once again. And yeah, it's pretty much just the last fight, guys. We can end this at any point. 
I could even end it this particular map or mission or episode or what have you. Well, this seems kind of like, oh wait, no, there's still more places to go. Like, this seems like kind of a silly place to be. What are we doing over here? What is this? All right, uh, really, we have to fight you guys. That's a thing. All right, fine. We'll, we'll battle you. It's okay. I'll accept it. It's a fight that we just must have to take or something like that there. Gonna spam wait our way to the very end of our turn of doom. Alright, so, at this point, what we're going to do, and I quote, no I don't quote, um, we're gonna open fire. We're going to open fire on this dude, potentially murdering him, or just hurting him slightly and then making him sad that he got shot, I don't know. Eh, a little bit of murder, we killed the vast majority of them, right? We can do a pretty good chunk of damage here, hopefully with high morale we can go a second time. And indeed we can, and there it is. And we flat obliterated him. It was not pleasant or pretty. Short of the lowest roll in history, we have this guy dead. Which is fantastic. And then we're going to angel slap the crap out of this guy. The retaliatory strike, not going to be super impressive. 79 damage. Like I said, not super impressive. And the final kill blow is there. Coordinated effort? I think not. Those are all single plays, and awesome single plays. Alright, so there we go, and we can sell, like I said, we have a lot of just random stuff laying around. So, what I think we should do is sell some of this lots of random stuff that we have laying around, and make sure that we have enough money to last us a lifetime and a half. And if we can do that, we'll be pretty happy. Is this a quick combat here? Well, that was a fort that we uh, could have built up at some point. I suppose that would have been fine. Uh, okay. We'll cross the river, I suppose. And then we'll also head up here with Anastasia and see what's going on. And it looks like a lot of just chaos and shame, really. You guys don't want to be my buddies? You don't. Nobody wants to be my friend? That's not very nice. It's okay. It is okay. There's more gold dragons. There's a lot of gold dragons all over the place here, guys. It's crazy. Alright, well, let's end the turn again. It's going to be a new week. Morale and luck of creatures are halved in combat. No, the week of balance. It's the worst week to be me. I am relying heavily on luck and morale. I am not a fan at all of this stuff. Yeah. There's some more gold. What is this thing? This is an elite dwelling that we now control or own in some way. Oh, we can actually go over that, huh? That's interesting. All right, Sir Ivan, if that is indeed what you're calling yourself these days. Let us cross over onto this. Hey! There's a group of weird angels over here that seem to want to have us murder them, I guess? Sure, we'll start combat. Why not? I don't really know what the Celestials are doing, but we'll take the battle, we'll fight, and then we'll probably break off the episode really shortly after that. So that's a thing that's happening, folks. Alright, we're gonna move there, there, there. Uh, I know, guys. I know. I know. Alright. There we have it. Let us begin. Come forward, angels. Prepare to meet your demise. <laughs> well, guys, after this, I will be probably concluding the series. So, enjoy while you still can, for there will be death ensuing shortly after this episode. I kind of want to go kill the Blades of Erebus, and I think I have enough oomph to do it, so we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, our luck and our morale is just in the toilet right now. Eh, I'll take the I'll take the risk. I think we've got this. Bam! Rick! Not gonna do that though. Alright, well we're gonna kill the 
15 of these. Apparently 44 of us can't kill 19 of those. Darn it. I hate when I do that. I hate it. A little bit. It's literally not the end of the world, but... It's pretty bad. You know what? I don't care. Let the two die. Let the two burn. Alright, so there we go. What is this? Something super spectacular? It's a Guardian's Helmet. Don't really care about the Guardian's Helmet. Alright, this all looks like it will eventually loop around to one another. Which is fine. Which is okay. We're going to continue our adventures through the snowy mountains here. What is this thing? Are these black dragons? I think they are. I wonder what they're guarding. Sounds very interesting. <laughs> it actually is pretty interesting. Alright, so... Um, we'll go with Anastasia to do a little bit more exploratory things, but I think before we get into any other fights, we're going to probably end this. Just going to take a quick peek around. That should be a Dragon Utopia, and indeed it is. We have some Earth Dragons there, some Titans over here randomly that's guarding the final obelisk, which I don't care about, guys and gals, and chances are we're all going to meet up in the next episode. So what we're going to try or attempt to do is to meet up here, um, maybe kill off some stuff, grab some more stats, probably have everybody teleport back to different places. And then go for the kill blow with good old Ivan. The Duke of Griffin. The greatest Griffin to ever Griffify in the history of Griffonitude. What? I don't, I don't know. Alright, so... That being said... We are going to do this actually because we have tons and tons and tons of money oh wow we have a lot of stuff that we can pull from that's interesting I was unaware that we had all these things available alright well we shall pull from all of these things and get ourselves an amazingly large amount of troopitude so grab that that nope this this just a car, okay. This, this, that. Scroll down. More, more, more. More and more. Alright, so there we go. We have all of those things. Then we can go to Scaly Whaley. Actually, we're going to go to the Haven Fort. Apparently, we have these that we can do as well. Okay. I'm not sure why it keeps resetting me there, but it does. Alright, so Bar Albania and then Scaly Whaley are the two other places that we can pull from. We will pull all of these guys in. We'll listen to the amazing musical stylings here, keeping us happy and happy as a chappy or something like that. I've got nothing. Alright, the Aboots and the Legionnaires, Marksmen, Imperial Griffins. We'll get all the recruitment stuff out of the way right now, guys and gals. So when we finally are ready to go for the ultimate kill... Well, we won't be uh, blocked out by anything. Alright, looks like that should just about do it. Alright folks, going to break off the episode here. I will be back with, I'm going to guess, I'm going to assume I'm going to say the conclusion to my Might and Magic Heroes 7 series. It'll be, what, 184 episodes in? And then I will be back when I'm back with the... Uh, Amazing, amazing first free expansion campaign. Looking forward to that, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, well, stick around for the conclusion. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.